INSYS Therapeutics is at the center of an alleged opioid kickback scheme in which doctors were bribed to prescribe a cancer painkiller to non-cancer patients. Today, federal authorities in Phoenix arrested the billionaire founder and majority owner of the company, John Kapoor. He's the most prominent pharmaceutical executive to be criminally charged in the opioid crisis after a lengthy investigation by federal prosecutors in Boston. Jim Axelrod has the story. I'm with the doctor's office. And what's that patient's name? Sarah Fuller. The voice belongs to a saleswoman from the Insys Drug Company. She's impersonating a staffer at a doctor's office, and she's lying to an insurer to get a prescription approved. Which medication are you calling about? It's sepsis, S-U-B as in boy, S-Y-S. Is it also for the breakthrough cancer pain or, or not? Breakthrough pain, yeah. Good, okay. The patient was Sarah Fuller, but she did not have cancer. Point the nozzle into your mouth and under your tongue. Subsys is a spray version of the opiate fentanyl. Fuller would become addicted to fentanyl, fatally overdosing 15 months later. The spray that we developed... Now the company's billionaire cancer. founder, Dr. John Kapoor, is facing charges of conspiracy and bribery that he personally recruited doctors and helped design a scheme to offer kickbacks to illegally prescribe subsys to Fuller and more than a thousand like her. The real tragedy is that people were dying. Um, individuals were taking this drug and they were dying of overdose. Michael Canty is a former federal prosecutor who now advises states on suing opioid manufacturers. In Illinois, there was a doctor. He was responsible for about 60 percent of all subsys prescriptions. And when the sales representative went to his supervisors and said, this guy's running a pill mill. He's not looking at patients. They said, well, stick with him. He's your go-to guy. Not stay away from him. Stick with him. No, and it's even worse. This was a doctor that they paid over $85,000 in speaker's fees to because he was one of their top prescribers of, of subsis. CBS News has identified headache doctors, back pain specialists, even a psychiatrist who received thousands of dollars to promote the drug last year. INSYS made 18,000 payments to doctors in 2016 that totaled more than $2 million. I would say that this is the most egregious case from top to bottom of conduct in, in promoting a drug for off-label use. In 2014, INSYS had a $10 million budget to pay speakers' fees to doctors, but according to the indictment, many speaker program events had no attendees at all. Kapoor's lawyer tells us his client is innocent, and intends to fight the charges vigorously. Jim Axelrod, thank you, Jim.